this is just really odd. Ow, ow. My legs are numb. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm giving you guys a really different video for me. I don't know what I'm doing right now. My best friend just left. You guys know Nate. He just left today and I'm really sad about it. And it's like raining. It's going to storm here. And so I decided why not film a video and distract myself from being sad because I'm so sad. Like I'm so happy that we were able to like, sorry yuckies on my chest i'm so happy that he was here and give us like a breath of fresh air and hung out with me all week especially since by the time you guys see this i will be back at work for my second week so there's that but yeah so with that being said i decided you know let me show you guys some things i got during this quarantine some things i got like literally last week some things that i got like the week before this is kind of like i don't know because you guys know how i operate with shopping and stuff and i am very happy to say if you saw my previous video about my shopping and stuff like that and just like how i feel after quarantine things that are changing i don't have any more credit card debt i plan to keep it that way so your girl is watching what she's spending and all that jazz so with that being said if you guys want to see what i got let's just get into it and i know like yeah get to it okay i'm sorry let's just get right into it first things i think i want to show you guys i already did like show you guys some of the stuff on my tiktok so if you don't follow me over there go follow me please Thank you, appreciate it. So some of the stuff you guys probably already saw and some things I may have forgotten to show that I already showed over there, so there's that. First thing I got were these U-Shield Premium Glass Screen Protectors, which are ultra privacy. I saw that my sister had these on her phone and I really wanted one because I thought it was cool with like how the phone moves, like it's like a privacy screen basically. And it's also glass, so it'll be protective. My last screen protector was so cracked, so damaged, and I'm not sure if I'm still gonna keep my phone or not, or if I wanna get the new iPhone one it comes out i have no idea so i just decided to buy a whole bunch of new ones especially since i couldn't find the ones that i had and then i found them after no we love it when it happens like that so i will try to find links for a lot of the things i purchased and i will put them in the description if you are curious the other thing i got were a clothing item i got you guys know i love the colorful koala brand leggings they are like a dupe for lululemon leggings and your girl's not spending a hundred dollars on that i ended up getting another clothing item from the brand but these are actually joggers but it still has that nice thick waistband and they are just like basic joggers like they look like leggings but they are really cute and i'm excited to wear these honestly i I want to see if I could get away with wearing these at work. I highly doubt it, but I think they're so cute and they have like little banding at the bottom as well. So they're nice and comfortable. I am so pumped for that. I'm all about, you guys know, comfy. I feel like athleisure and loungewear is a lot of my style because I just don't like to dress up and be like, mm. like I do like to dress up when I go out. Don't get me wrong. Moms on Instagram wearing like the aesthetic trendy ones that have their blogs and they're wearing all these, like these fall boots with this scarf and this, like that's just not me like that's just not my tea like i just like to be comfy so there's that i did get a four pack of these crop top camis and there were two gray ones but i wore them already so here's just like a white and a black and i think it was like four for twenty dollars so you can't really go wrong with that and i love wearing those all the time during quarantine it's literally all i've worn so i had to get some more i got a couple pairs of sunnies because you guys know like how i do i feel like i get a lot of that from my dad because he was always like a big fiend with sunglasses so i ended up getting a replacement of these square ones which i was like doing like this collab thing ambassadorship back before I was like hey these are basically all kind of scammy I shouldn't be doing this on Instagram and I got a pair and they ended up breaking so I decided to get a new pair off Amazon not from the company and they I love these a lot more like I love the glossy finish on the side of them my old ones were matte and they're just so cute kind of like get the f away from me glasses which I love because you know Mm, yeah wear this with your mask and like no one will bother you it's amazing and then i also got this pair because i saw alex um from the call her daddy podcast you don't know who she is i saw her wearing these and i just thought they were so cute like they're just like the cat eye but cute like i really like these a lot they're just really like basic and simple love black sunglasses they're like my ish okay and now so on to some other things so i also ended up ordering i knew when this pandemic happened that we were gonna have to wear face masks all the time i wanted to be extra i wanted to be that I wanted to be extra. I wanted to have a really cute face mask and I follow Blinged Up on Instagram. If you don't know who she is, she did like a video collaboration with Shane. One of her biggest customers was obviously Trisha who's ordered so many bling things from her. And so I saw that she had masks and these aren't like the same kind of like cloth mask like I already have. So it's a little big on me, but hi, how are you? Like this was so worth it. Oh my gosh, like I'm obsessed. This is the mask I'm actually wearing at work right now. Like it is so cute and just sparkly and bling. 
blingy and I feel like it's just like eye catching and something fun for like my kids to look at, something for me to look at. Oh my gosh. And I just love, like, I love, you would think this would, was made in a factory, but like she hand did this, which is so cool. I'm absolutely obsessed. I really love this mask a lot. If I could find it on her website, I'm not sure if her website's back up yet or not, but I will try to link it below, but it's so cute and so worth it. Oh my goodness. Since we're probably, I feel like we're gonna have to wear face masks for the rest of the year, at least. So like, this is definitely worth the purchase for me. So next thing, haul. This is really weird for me to show makeup because honestly, during this quarantine, you guys know I have been wearing makeup. Oh, the little plastic's coming off. Hold on. Oh, so that's why. You guys know I have been wearing makeup during quarantine, but I don't know. I've realized kind of like when I go out and stuff, I don't want to wear a full face of makeup because like you can't see half my face anyway, especially when I'm at work. So I've been kind of resorting to just doing like concealer, powder, mascara, and brow gel just because like I want to look put together, but I don't want to look, you know, I don't want to just like not wear makeup because I love makeup. So it's kind of weird and kind of sad that my love for makeup has kind of dwindled a little bit just because of everything going on. I feel like there's no point to wearing it. Also kind of part of my depression too, you know, when you're depressed, like you don't want to do the things that once gave you joy, it really sucks. So, but I saw that Tarte was doing their seven for 60 deal, which I did back in November obsessed and love and I think this was 60 or 63 I'm not sure but you get seven items for like $60 around there and it is so worth it to me I really do think it is because you get two of these products or two or three of these products it's easily $60 so might as well just get like seven items for that amount of money instead of just spending it on like one or two products basically so these are all the things I got first of all I chose the electric pink neon pink bag which is so cute love makeup bags I have so many I really should stop the first thing I got was the Tarte face tape foundation foundation in 22 and light neutral it's a little dark for me at least last time when I opened this so let's see because I did get tan as you guys can see yeah it's a little tiny bit dark for me but I can make it work excited I'm so excited I've been wanting to try the shit I wanted to try the face tape foundation originally and then they got rid of those and made this so i've been really wanting to try this and i'm so excited that it was one of the choices then next we have a couple i did get a couple sugar rush tart items i just really like that line i don't know this is the sugar rush tart couple goals double ended lip gloss y'all this is like my childhood right here like do you guys remember double ended lip glosses or is that just me like i used to have these in middle school and elementary school i was obsessed one color was like dark and one was like a champagne and it's just so cute i'm so excited this one is in jelly donut by the way again i We'll try to link everything down below and then next we have another sugar rush product which is the shimmer time body oil because the girl's been going out she's been like tanning a little bit i've really been tanning i'm more so just been like going to my mom's going in the pool and then this past week when nate was here we went to the lake so like i've and obviously david and i went to the beach for our anniversary so i've been doing a lot of like my tanning accelerator so you know i like to show that off in the summer and i'm really excited for this you guys it's just oh my god i've been wanting this forever look how glittery that is oh the light like the ring light is kind of like crappy but like anything shimmery and glittery like i'm down and then we also got the sugar rush F sun and <laughs> sun and fun baked bronzer which i'm really pumped for to you i just love the packaging of like sugar rush i love the packaging of tart in general but so that is what the bronzer looks like in there it's just swirly okay and another item i got was of course another mascara this is the tart big ego mascara i've been wanting to try this forever obviously because first of all it's neon pink packaging hello hi but the same kind of shape as the lash paradise which i love that mascara i feel like i've gone through a lot of mascaras the last few months too so like that always helps to have more and then the last product I got was this Tarte Busy Gal Brows Tinted Brow Gel. Again, like I said, I have just been resorting to like brow gel and mascara and concealer powder during quarantine. When I go out at least, if I do videos, obviously I'm going to put a full face of makeup on. But now since I'm going to go back into work life, I decided to get another brow gel. This one is in taupe. I think it's a little bit too red for me, but we'll see when the time comes. So there's that. Last bag of things I just wanted to share with you guys. I got from Walmart this week. My mom dropped us off at Walmart and then we walked to my mom's. It's a thing. I was, I went there because I saw on TikTok that they there were these crop tops that these girls were buying and your girl loves crop tops. Still so crazy by the way that the stores are like still like kind of picked over like Walmart's picked over, Target's picked over, like what? Pandemic times guys, pandemic. But I did manage to get some like, I guess they're just like, they're technically bras but like, you know me, I'm gonna end up wearing them as crop tops because I'm, I'm that girl for of them and I probably could have just gotten them in like a large but and also I think I am gonna wear these as bras clearly to like work and stuff because i don't really like to wear bras anymore so like 
Mm, yeah. So the first one I got was just this black one. Really cute. It has removable pads. And then the next ones are both the same, just different colors. We have like this neon, <laughs> neon yellow and this neon pink. And then we have this one, which I saw and I was like, oh, yes, queen. Look at this. So cute. Love this tie dye so much. It's so cute. And these were around like, I think they were like $8 a piece or something like that or around there, eight, nine bucks. So it wasn't really that bad of a deal. Got a pop socket <laughs> for my phone because it was like, I think it was, I forgot the name of the cat, but it was like Wamem. It was like watermelon and like this little kitty. I forgot his name. It was really cute. It's on my phone right now. I can't show you guys, but I also managed to grab the trendy. I'm going to regret this so much. These were only $8. The time and true wide width slide sandals. I feel like the reason I bought these is because I think they look a little bit nicer than just like my pink slides or something like that. For example, like this will already have passed by the time you guys see this, but my friend Mel, she's having her little birthday party thing. And I think that these would be really cute with like leggings and just a top and like maybe a, like a flannel or something. You know what I mean? Like just like it looks a little bit more put together than having slides that say pink right across it. So I ended up getting these white ones and they're just really cute so i'm just nervous about them getting dirty but we'll survive so we got those and then i also grabbed this because i love creep show you guys know and i've been on the hunt for creep show too for so long creep show and the second one are the only ones i watch stephen king you don't know you need to know these are like such like i i love these movies so much they're just oh, they just hold such a special place in my heart last item i ended up buying i actually did previously buy the hand cream and the spray of this and i saw that the body cream was back in stock so i got the body Ecology watermelon splash body cream it just smells so good like i can't so that's what the packaging looks like obviously wamem and i know that bath and body works has a watermelon line out right now but i've chosen to not purchase from it just because again i'm still working on my stash like i I'm not going back on that whatsoever, I promise you guys. But I did decide, you know, like there's just a lot of WAMEM things in the world that I'm just probably not meant to have and that it's kind of like just excess and it's not necessary to have. I mean, was this necessary? No, but... <laughs> This was only like $3 at Walmart compared to spending like 30 or 40 or 50 on Bath and Body Works stuff, which I'm not really a big fan of Bath and Body Works anymore. So like, it's kind of pointless for me too anyway, just because there's a WAMAM on it. Sorry, watermelon. Um, merch is coming. I ended up purchasing some call, more Call Her Daddy merch. Got a shirt that says Cancel Suitman. You guys probably already saw that on my Instagram story, but I did get another hoodie because it was just really cute. This was before Alex released all new merch and I was just like, I already placed an order, but it says call her daddy on there. And on the side, it just says daddy all the way down. And it's cute. And it's champion. Look at her champion. I love champion. Oh, so comfy. So comfy and warm. So excited for this. Everything that I got <laughs> near the end of this quarantine. By the time you guys see this, obviously, I'm back at work. And we're trying to get back to a normal routine and life and stuff. But it's just really weird right now. I don't know. I'm still so scared. I have a lot more anxiety when it goes when it comes to, like, going. My feet are totally numb right now. So I apologize for the change in angle. I'm very happy with myself that I did like still go out and like do grocery shopping cautiously and went to Walmart cautiously and like you know still went out and did things just like very cautiously because my anxiety would be so bad like, compared to some of my friends who have been inside this whole time and have worse anxiety about it than I do but I'm still going to be as cautious as I can I mean I still have like worries about like us going to the beach a few weeks ago and then obviously having Nate here was a little worried but we're just trying to be as safe as possible and since Connecticut and Maine and a lot of the states here in the in New England are like not as bad as like Arizona and Florida. I don't feel that. I don't feel like I'm putting myself at that much risk compared to these other places. With that all being said, I love you guys so much. Hope you have an awesome day. Subscribe if you want to see more of me. Like this video if you enjoyed. Turn on bell post notifications so you know when I post a new video. And I, again, if you guys see videos where I have nails on and then I don't, I just, I for wet my nails the rest of this week because they all like broke off and it was just really annoying and I didn't feel like replacing them this week so that's partially why i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video